Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Matt, here, and welcome to a brand new Matt movie here on the Matt Movies channel. And today, I'm going to be doing another customs episode um, for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to make the classic version of Thor with the customizer. You might remember I made the uh, classic version of Iron Man, and now today, I'm going to make the classic Thor. And as you can see, Star Lord is dancing out to some tunes, so we're just going to stop that. Oops, didn't mean to throw a gravity bomb. Or mine. Anyways, so here he is, Thor Classic. Hold on. Let me just... Hold on. Alright, there we go. Alright. So, for the appearance, for the hair, I chose the long male and went with this um, yellow right there. Because that kind of looks close to the blonde he has. And I'm also kind of going off of the, the classic Thor from Lego Marvel Super Heroes 1. So, yeah. And for the face, I went with Kid Cold because it does have that kind of classic classic Thorish feel to it, so, yeah. Uh, for the body, I went with Black Bolt, because it does kind of look like he has the little things on him, and, and his suit is, like, black, like, the chest is black, so, yeah. With both arm pieces, I just went with the plain tan, since he has, like, bare arms, and same with the, with the hands, I just made them that plain kind of tannish color. Oh, whoops. Um, so, for the, for the, um, for the legs, I just went with plain old blue, because he doesn't really have any design there. And then for the hips, I went with Arachnido Jr. Just to give it a little bit more design. And I'd give him a cape. I gave him a straight cape and made it red. So, yeah. Anyways, now for the abilities. So, I gave him Crack Lego Walls and Super Strength. Those were all the passive abilities I gave him, but it's still pretty cool. So, anyways. So, on Tab X, I gave him Fighting because he should be able to use Mjolnir to fight. And then I gave him a Boomerang as well because he should be able to, like, throw his hammer just like he does in the movies and then on B here I gave him the electrical ability so I gave him bolts on tap B I gave him the weapon I mean, uh, bolt style I went with this one because it looks most like electricity um, anyways and then I gave him blue and obviously electric bolts um, and then on hold B I went with a beam because he should be able to like shoot electricity from his hammer so I went with an electric beam Beam style, beam style one, because that's electricity. Uh, beam origin, obviously the weapon. And the beam color, blue. So yeah. So that's the beam I went with. And then I gave him, obviously, flight, because he does fly. And, and then I gave him a hyper jump. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, now for the passive traits. For the health type, I just went with standard. For the health icon, I went with blue. Uh, the speed, I just went with default. Target reticle, I went with this one, because it, it has kind of like that bluish shape to it. And then I went with voice too. And then I chose the Asgard background, because, you know, it's Thor. And then I named him a Thor Classic. And, it w and I, did, I actually did have enough room to put, like, the colons and everything for Classic, so, yeah, so... So there you guys, so there you go, that is class, how, well that's how I personally made classic though, you guys don't have to go with this, you can go in it with like any way you want, but that's just I, how I personally made him. And I gotta say, he actually turned out pretty awesome, I gotta say, it's a pretty good, um, design of him, so it's pretty cool. So the ability, so the abilities we gave him were of course fighting with Mjolnir, which makes sense, since he should be able to fight with it. And then we, of course, made him the throw. And it looks just like he does, like, when he, like, he, like, turns the hammer and then throws it. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Because, I mean, all, like, the hammers and everything do that. So, yeah. And then we, of course, gave him the electrical blast from his hammer and the beam. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, th I have to say, the design is pretty cool. And then we, of course, gave him hyper jump and flight. So, very cool. And there is actually some crime right here, so let's take him down. That's pretty cool, so let's take him out. With the with classic door. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. There we go. Alright, so there you guys have it. That's how you can make classic Thor using the Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 in-game customizer. Or at least that's how I personally made him. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. That would be appreciated. And definitely let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of it. Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? 
Um, oh yeah, and by the way, we, uh, dang it, I, I totally forgot to show this. But I did also give him a hammer as well. I gave him the Mjolnir hammer, and I made it the kind of like lightish gray, just to let you know. That's um, sorry, I forgot to I, I forgot to show you that. But yeah, so and that's fine. I'll show you later. Anyways, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. And let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Would you have made him differently? This is just what I personally would have made him again. But let me know if you had done something different. So, with that in mind, peace out, and I will see you later.